What's going on YouTube? It's Eli here from Tree Fall Studios. I'm going to be showing you today how to make 3D UI for your indie game in Unity 3D. So let's take a look here and as you can see I've already got Unity pulled up. I've got Unity 2019 open so you're going to need to use one of the newer versions in order to get this to work. And I'm going to be showing you this example in a setup scene, a little sample scene for uh, using my Maze Pedestal of Trials uh, project here. And I'm going to be showing you step by step so you guys can go and follow along on your own. And uh, you can just open up a brand new scene, file a new scene, open up a couple of cubes and get this done yourself. As you can see, I've done a little bit of setup here. And then I'm going to actually show you step by step so you don't miss anything uh, in just a second. So as you can see, I got a little maze here that we can walk around in. And I have the player, which is a first person character controller. I've got a couple of the scripts turned off here that we don't need. So this is just a basic uh, character controller to give you an idea. Uh, you can drag one out yourself. This is a trigger volume. This is going to be like a bonus tutorial at the end to kind of show you uh, basically an example of walking into a trigger and turning on the UI and then exiting the trigger and turning it off. And that's basically how you would do, you know, walking up to a portal for a level, that kind of thing. Um, so I've already got a trigger volume out here. I'll just move it back real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename it trigger. Okay, so basically what we're going to try to be doing is showing you how to get 3D objects to appear as a 2D texture on your screen. This coin is the object we're going to be using. So what I like to do is wherever the 3D UI, whatever the objects you're trying to show, make some duplicates of them and hide them way off the screen. So I zeroed out the coin, then moved it up to 50. And then what I did again was do the same thing for the camera and then just move it back so it's directly looking at the coin. So basically if you were going to do this on your own um, you would just go ahead and do game object 3d object cube you want to zero it out and then like let's say you know move it to a hundred and then you we can look right at it and then you put it out there and then create a camera to look at it yourself so a really cool trick about unity is if you've got a big scene with a bunch of stuff uh, if you could just click on something like the coin and then you press the F key while you're in the uh, scene view, you will warp right to it. So that's how we're going to shoot between our 3D UI objects and then also shooting to our player object so we can get this done very quickly. So all you're going to need to do is you're going to want whatever you're trying to make into 3D UI, you want to set it out here, you want to set a camera on it, and we're going to do a couple setup things for the camera. So this camera, we're going to click, make sure this says solid color, the background you're going to drop into white or black, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, just a solid color, and then, so you just do all of that, and then zero it out, you don't want any background, you can see right here, like if you had the background going on, um, it would just fill that in. So you want the alpha to be zero. That's why it doesn't really matter what the color is because you're gonna bl black out the background. Then you can see there's this culling mask uh, right here and it says 3D UI. So a good tip is you wanna click on your 3D object that you want to display. You wanna go to the layer. You wanna click add layer. Go to the first available layer that you have. Type in 3D UI. And then you wanna set that object to that layer. So basically what that does, when you go into your camera and you set your culling mask, you wanna turn it onto nothing. It should be defaulted onto everything. If you click it to nothing and then change it to 3D UI, you can see that this camera is only going to render what is on that layer. So that's how we keep all of our 3D objects separate from the rest of the uh, game. It won't be seen by your player camera. It will only be seen up here. So now that we have our camera set up, we have it set to getting rid of the background, only rendering what we want for our 3D objects, we have to do one more thing in order to get it to render as a 2D image. See, this is the trick, and we're going to do something called a target texture. So right here, I'm going to move my camera, 
and you can see I've made a folder right here called render texture and I've already made a test texture but I'll go through it with you guys so we can check it out so you want to right click in the asset folder click create scroll right down until you hit render texture you can name it whatever you want I'll call this test 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 and then you can see that we've got a couple options up here um, you got size you can change all the formats all of this stuff is going to really depend on your game how nice you need it to look what kind of hardware you're working on all of that so you can see right here it goes and tells you in the corner that this is uh, half a megabyte and if we would double it we jump up to two megabytes so basically this is our brand new render texture. So what you're wanting to do is you're going to go to your camera, which I also named 3D UI camera, so I could keep it separate from the player camera, which is hidden down there in the player. And then you want to go to target texture, and this was the one I was originally testing out, but you want to open up the new one that we just created called test, test, test. So now you can see it automatically updates right here in the... Um, asset window which is really nice the thumbnail shows you what you're looking at so that's just wonderful so the next thing we need to do I'm gonna move my camera down one more time you need to create a canvas so you, you can see I have a canvas already created but if I delete that we can do it from start from scratch click on game object scroll down to UI click on that and then you want to open up a canvas so that the canvas is what displays all of your UI in Unity. And then if you go to Game Object UI and then you click Raw Image, you can see it will automatically parent it under the canvas because the canvas holds. And this information right here tells everything that is a UI object how to display and where to render. So you can see when I created the raw image it automatically gave us a little white square down here in the very corner. If you want to drop it up to zero zero it will go right into the middle of the screen. So let's just go ahead and test. Shoot that over to 700, shoot that up to 400 and that's the top right corner of the screen. It's a little small so if we do 250, 250 and then maybe bring this down to 375 much more doable. And you can see right here, there's a texture target. And then if you open this up and you type in test, 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 you can find your brand new render texture that we just created. Select that and boom, it is now displayed on the camera. And if you can see, this is floating up in the sky. I can just go ahead and save this scene. You wanna go ahead and do a little test right here. Let me grab my controller. It's gonna take a second to boot up. But as you can see, we have the coin spinning around in 3D as 3D UI, which is super cool because that is technically a 2D texture. If you look way up into the sky, right up there is where we place the coin. You can't see it on the regular camera because it is not being rendered by this camera because you wanna also make sure that when you're setting up your player camera, you take the 3D UI layer out of the culling mask and you can see it's just spinning around. I can go all around the level and that'll show you exactly what you want to see. So that is how you do 3D UI in Unity. Super simple. And like I said, you can go to your render texture settings, change all of this, you know, to make it how exactly how you want it. You can also go to the raw image settings, change the size, do all of these things. Um, to really fine tune it, but that is the basics for a very beginner, for a beginner lesson on how to create 3D UI in Unity. If you want to stick around, I will go ahead and show you one more little step. Um, don't need this uh, on how to create a trigger volume and go ahead and get this uh, UI triggering. Let's say we walk up to a level portal. So I've already created a script on here called Trigger Volume Test. Uh, for you, you can just click on add component and type in the new script and then hit new script. So what we're going to do is just double click this, open it up. It's going to take a second to open up in Visual Studio. Actually, so as I was writing this tutorial and going through it, I was basically going to show you how setting a, we could set a variable here and then in the script of uh, that we are about to create and place on the 3D UI object 
we were gonna be able to toggle it on and off, but then we're gonna have to create more scripts and check for those things, and then you get into the issue of, I was just gonna do it real fast and show you and to have it check and update, but that's super inefficient. So for this beginner tutorial, I'm not gonna show you that way. So instead of doing this, we're just gonna get rid of these. We're gonna comment these out. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do something really simple like public game object and call it the 3D UI. Uh, and then what you can see is, so when you make something public, you expose it into the inspector. And what we're gonna do is, well, it took a second to load there. Uh, we're gonna hop over here and now you can see this is looking for a game object. So what we're gonna do is drag in the raw image and then, so that sets this, the raw image, our object that is displaying our 3D UI right here. So what we're gonna do is when the player walks in, we are going to actually, first in start, we're gonna go to the 3D UI dot set active to false. We can go ahead and get rid of this and this and this so we can clean this up for you and that. So, and we also don't need update for now. Okay, so now we are turning it off. We're turning the 3D object off at start. And then when we walk into that trigger volume, we're going to turn it on. So we go to set active to true. and then we turn it back to set active to false. Okie dokie. My lights died in the middle of the video. That's okay, we're gonna finish this up. So that is all you have to do. So when you pop back in here, we're gonna go ahead and save it. We're gonna hit play, check this out. So now when you start, you're walking around, your character's walking around, there is no UI on the screen. This is our trigger volume. When you step into it, we see it. When you step out, it's gone. When you step into it, you see it. When you step out, it's gone. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how you set up a trigger volume in case you do not know. I just went to game object, 3D object, cube, created the cube. You go to the collider um, component, and then you click is trigger. And then right here is the script that we made earlier. So yep, that's it. That's all there is to it, everyone. So that is how you simply make 3D UI in Unity and you go ahead and have a simple script to turn it on and off as you walk by the level entrance, for example. Thanks for watching. Uh, and this is one of my first real tutorial videos. I've got a ton of these planned to help very early beginners who have no idea how to use Unity or do anything in game development, really start from scratch and start to see major results in no time. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I got to give a huge shout out to everybody who supports us on Patreon. I got to give a personal shout out to Carmen Red, LV, and Overhyped Gamer. Thanks for what you do for Treefall Studios on Patreon.com. If you're interested in checking out the Patreon page, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Also, if you're new to this channel and you like to see game development tutorials like this, game development tips and advice, or you want to keep up with my current projects and development and check out my devlogs, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Most of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is a first huge milestone for us. So if you wouldn't mind, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video in case you liked it. Share it with a friend who might find this useful. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.